successful art history YouTube channel. In this week's episode of Art History Minute, we are looking at a sculpture that could rival those found in ancient Greece and Rome. This reclining woman figure may be missing her head, but she's certainly a symbol of beauty. So to learn more, keep on watching. This sculpture of a reclining woman is remarkable, especially given that it's only about three inches long. It dates from the 2nd century BCE to the 2nd century CE, and was made from an artist from the Parthian Empire. At its greatest extent, this empire covered a large percentage of the area now known as the Middle East. This work is made of alabaster, which has a soft golden glow and certain light. Although her head and left arm are missing, there are still several details that we can make out. One of the most remarkable parts of this piece isn't necessarily a part of its composition. During this period of ancient history, reclining figures were common motifs in ancient Greek art. Through trade and conquest, this style was adopted throughout the Mediterranean and Middle East. However, the Greek tradition was almost always reserved for male figures, as you can see on the screen. The opposite was true for the Parthian Empire, especially when alabaster was the medium. Additionally, the fleshy body, drilled navel, and folds around the neck are also characteristics of this culture. One of my favorite parts of the statue is not only her beauty, but how she represents cross-cultural exchange in the ancient world. Today, she's part of the collection of the Metropolitan Museum of Art. <laughs> 